Hello friends, welcome. In the last exercise, we had learned how to apply the if function using VBA, Excel and uh, do some conditions and uh, prompt some messages accordingly. Now, let us kind of take this uh, VBA application and macro applications ahead and learn new tricks here. So, uh, the idea of this video here would be something like this. You have this company name and this is this more towards the financial side where you have the list of names of the companies and uh, they are uh, from different sectors. So, say for example, TiVo. TiVo is a software based company. So, mm, that's the likewise Lesto. This is a utilities company. So, what we have is let's say a snapshot of this whole list of companies with sectors. What is the objective which we are trying to achieve in this video? What will true is we want to kind of identify a sector, let's say bank or materials or software or utilities or any one of them, kind of populate that same thing. So let, let me do a control C here and paste it as per the requirement. So if we want to kind of have an output sheet with banks as a sector, we should be able to kind of do that. This is the simple case study which we will try to solve in this set of video tutorials. So if I would have selected materials, then all the stock which were of materials should be copied in sheet number two. So that's the whole objective of this uh, programming. We will learn many new tricks of how to go about looking at VBA applications in advanced details while we do this example. Please note that the approach always uh, and will remain the same. The first approach will be to use Excel for the code. So what we mean by that is the earlier approach which we had seen is that we actually go to the developers tab and we click here on record macros and in the process of recording macros we actually are asking Excel to develop a code for us because we are not coders you know we, we don't know much of coding from scratch so that's what the assumption is so we are taking this help from Excel and number two is that we will logically manipulate the code to suit our requirements. So if there is a need, we will logically manipulate the code. And this is where I will also tell you some do's and don'ts of what to take care of in these set of codings. Okay, so that's the whole objective of this video. So let's take it ahead from here.